how do you get rid of these red and green, all these like little discolored artifacts that happen when you bake? I'm going to show you how I handle it. Going around this map here, this is a pretty large map, and you can see where these like faces intersect with other faces. I get like all these weird colors. And then uh, stuff like this. This is a different issue. This has to deal with the UV seams uh, for my light maps. And this just needs to get UV'd out. But you can still see like some of the discoloring happening where these seams are. The short answer is compression. You need to change your compression settings for your light map. So select an object. You can see under the mesh render, you can see what light map it's using. Let's click that. You can click on that. Go over to the inspector, change the format to something like this, apply, and those weird artifacts are now gone. I'll go into compression a bit more later on, but um, so that's the short answer and that's probably probably the answer you want. But the long answer is uh, much longer and I'll explain. I just want to say real quick, if you have artifacts that look like this, uh, this is a completely different issue that I'm not going to be covering, but the way you fix this is you go to the material that's on the object that's giving you weird ar artifacts, uh, go all the way down and choose the advanced options, double-sided global illumination. This will usually only happen if you're using the progressive light mapper that comes with Unity. So if you're getting the, these types of artifacts, this is probably your issue. Now back to fixing the low quality artifacts. There's a few things that we can do. And the first and obvious thing is to mess with your light bake settings. So if I bake this using bakery, that's the light mapper I use for this map. So if I come over to the bakery settings, in order to get a better bake, I can mess with things like the max resolution. I can increase the texels per unit, the denoise, things like that is going to help you get a better bake. Now I'm using the bakery light mapper, but any other light mapper should have similar settings. So if I go to the default light mapper and come down to the light mapping settings, you can see that there's a light map size and light map resolution, stuff like that, that will help with your light bake. The big issue with this though, is that I want my light maps to be as small as possible and they're already 288 megabytes. And for, I mean, this is a VR chat world. So for a VR chat world, that's that's a lot of space taken up for your light maps. And I'm planning on compressing this even more. So if I increase the resolution, which it's maxed right now, if I increase the texels per unit, increasing the settings here will increase the size of my light maps. And it will also increase the bake times of my light maps. And it will also increase how long it takes to bake. So I don't want to mess with these settings. I like the settings that I have it and I need to look at a different solution. The next thing we can do is actually go and look at our light map. So I'm going to find, since I'm using bakery, I'm going to find the bakery light maps folder. And in here we see all my light maps in this project. So I'm just going to click on one. Uh, this is a HDR file type. I'm going to be using GIMP. So let's look at the light map in GIMP and actually see what's going on. So if we look at this, we can see kind of what's going on here. All the uh, warm tone stuff. So all these little tiny dots up here and all this wrapping all around going all the way down to the bottom. That's the stuff that's inside the house. And so I need to look at what's taking up the most of this light map space and figure out how I can make some of the more important stuff be prioritized by the space on this light map. So what is this? For this, I mean, it's gonna be different for your project, for, for, but for this project, all of the stuff that we're seeing here is part of the trees that are around this map. So every tree that is static with all the planes that are making up all these leaves need space on the light maps to get baked. And not all of these trees are static. It's like this one and each one of these trees have uh, LODs. So there's actually, so for like every tree, there's actually three trees that need to get baked. The way that we change how much space an object takes on your light map is by affecting a setting under light mapping here in the mesh renderer called scale and light maps. The bigger this number is, the more space it's going to take up on your light map. So um, if my tree, I mean, my trees are already pretty small. Um, they're taking up, you know, most stuff by default takes up. So let's just uh, select an object here. Most most stuff takes up, uh, I think the default value is a scale of one on the light map UV, and my trees already are 0.22. So if I wanted to take up even less space, I need to bring this down more. You can actually see this visualized in Unity by going to this option here, change the, your shading mode to bake to light map. And once you do that, you can see this checker checkered pattern over all your objects and all these objects that you see this checkered pattern on 
um, are objects that are static and are getting baked. So for this object, we can see that the light maps are already pretty small and we can come in here and we can just adjust this and maybe change it to, instead of 0.22, we can change it to like 0.05. And you can do this for all your objects. So um, looking at the objects by themselves in this view isn't going to tell you much. The, the stuff that's going to tell you a lot is actually looking at your light maps and seeing what's taking up the most space. So like even though the lights, the scale of the light maps for the tree that we just messed with weren't that big, there's a lot of planes on it. And it's it could be like taking up this much of your light map. And there could be, you know, 10 to 20 trees that need to take up space. And then you end up with a light map that looks like this. And most of it are just like leaves, which you may or may not want that. So just look at your light maps and then find the objects that may be taking up too much space, select them. And, you know, instead of scaling one, it's, you know, scale at 0.5 and then bake. And then you can relook at your light maps at the, after the next results. And then if you do that enough time, then the important stuff that you might be getting the artifacts on, which is like, like this right here, you, you know, baking again, once you mess with all these settings, you'll get a better bake. So I scaled all my meshes and then I rebaked and I'm here from the future just to show you the results of that. And from just scaling the uh, each like mesh, like on the trees, you can see how different my light maps look. And I even have a light map that's like the whole thing is like the interior when before most of the light maps were like majority plants. Reminder, Unity uses your second UV map as your light map UV. So in Blender, we're looking at one of my objects. If I go into edit mode, I'm selecting the UV map it's gonna be using for light map UVs. When it scales your light maps, this is what it's going to be scaling, your second UV map, which is your light map UVs. Assuming you didn't generate that in Unity. If you generated it in Unity and you're getting weird results, you may want to think about manually unwrapping your light map UVs. If your second UV map looks something like this and you have overlapping faces and it looks really bad, then you're going to get really bad results for when you bake lights. That's why for these couches, which I've actually already fixed it in here, but there was that seam there and that's why you were getting those like weird, there was a seam right here. That's, that's why you were getting those weird dark spots around this area here. That's because my light maps weren't good. We're back in Unity. You've adjusted each of your meshes, you've set your your light mapper settings to the settings that you want, uh, but you're still getting these artifacts. Now these artifacts are, they're really there because of your compression settings. So when you bake, Unity will compress your light maps to uh, its default settings and you can change this compression. The problem is when you go to a higher quality compression setting, you're going to increase the file size of your light map. So right now by default, using the default settings, so I had it set to 4K, so my file size, for this light map is 4K and it's using the automatic format. If I change that to something like RGBA 32, let's see what that does. That changes it quite a bit, so we obviously don't want this compression settings, but it um, it didn't increase my file size. Let's change it to something else and see what happens. RGBA float. So this increased my fi the file size to 256 megabytes but it got rid of the artifacts that we were seeing. Um, a good one to use is this one, the RGB 9E5 32-bit shared exponent, whatever, a float or whatever it, it says. This increased the file size of the slight map, so it went from 16 to 64, but you can decrease the file, like the actual size of the texture to try and get a better, uh, a lower size result. So 2K at this compression setting would be good, and that would get rid of the artifacts that you have. So this is a really good option and this might be just like your fail safe if this is what you're trying to get rid of. But I do have one more solution. So let's say that you've done everything and you can't get the compression setting right at a good size. My like final solution to fixing all these artifacts throughout the map is to just manually edit the light map. Here's what I do. So let's say, let's look at this. I've adjusted my settings to the best of my ability and everything. And I'm still getting these weird, bad looking artifacts. I can select this object. And if I go to the inspector and I go down to light mapping, I can see the baked light maps that it's using. So let's click that. And we can see that it's using this light map for this specific object. I can double click this and open it in GIMP. And then in GIMP, what I like to do is I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, do a small value like one, 
and then I can do control shift E, export, replace, and I can overwrite that file. And then when I go into Unity, it reloads my file, and all of a sudden, those artifacts are basically gone. You can still see them a little bit because all we did was blur the light map. Uh, this is kind of like my last resort trying to get it to look right. So let's look at this. Here's my light map. So I can double click that, open it up, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, one, okay, export. And then the artifacts are magically gone. This kind of feels like a cheat, and I feel like, you know, maybe in a way it is, but you know, if it works, it works. This isn't a perfect solution because sometimes you can blur it and it can affect other like faces that are close to bright objects. So you might get some weird things happening if you if you're not careful. But this is kind of like I said, last resort, and I feel like it does a pretty good job. So hopefully this was helpful. Bye.